This means the rate at which someone or something is moving. Okay, so speed again is the rate at which someone or something is moving. Now the question is, how will you know that something or someone has moved? Whenever you see something that is already not at its uh, reference point, okay, or its frame of reference, then you'd know that it has moved. Okay, you know, remember yesterday you studied the frame of reference, or sometimes it's also called the reference point. And this is a starting point used to locate another place or thing. So that means if this pin here, if this pin here is your reference point, and you see that it has moved from that reference point or from, from its frame of reference, then you are sure that something or someone has moved. Okay, so you know that something or someone has moved. If its position has changed, if it is no longer in its reference point or its frame of reference. Okay, now yesterday you've studied the different terms that are related with motion. And today we start with one of these, which is speed. Okay, now whenever you are solving for speed related problems, you use this little pyramid that we have here on the screen. Now D there, of course, stands for distance, S is speed, and T is time. Okay, so D is distance, S again is speed, and T is time. Now, whenever you'd want to solve for the distance, say you are given a speed-related problem and it's asking you for the distance, what you need to do is you simply cover letter D, and you already see the formula for distance. Anyone who can give us a formula for distance? That to solve for distance, the formula is speed times time. Okay, so speed times time. They are side by side, and so what we do is we multiply speed by time. So again, distance is speed times time, and the units that we use normally would just be miles and meters, okay? Miles, meters, kilometers. Now, what if you're looking for speed, okay? If you're looking for speed, again, you just cover S, and what do you think would be the formula for speed? Speed would be distance divided by time. Okay, so speed is distance divided by time. Our units here would be miles per hour or kilome kilometers per hour. Now, what if we're looking for time? What should be the formula for time? Time would be equal to distance divided by speed. Okay, so that's distance divided by speed for your time. So our units, again, would be hours, minutes, or seconds. All right, so these are the three different formulas that we are going to use when solving for our speed-related problems. Now, say you have your sample problem here. Okay, Ram was traveling to Georgia. It took him three hours to cover the distance of 131 miles. What was his speed? Okay, now, of course, we take a look at the given data that we have in our problem. Okay, what are given here? Of course, we're given time. That's three hours, and of course, there's distance of 131 miles. And what is the formula for speed again? For speed, we simply cover S here, and we see that speed would be distance divided by time. Okay, so that's distance divided by time. And so we know that speed is distance divided by time. So we simply divide 131 miles by the time, which is three hours. Okay, so that would be speed equals 131 miles divided by three hours. And that would give us the answer of 43.67 MPH.